What is going on today, guys? It's SFC Ragnus here, bringing you episode number two of the Road to 200,000 Euros series in Euro Truck Simulator 2. So yeah, last episode, we took a load of tractors to, I think it was, hold on here, or not, nah, don't really matter what where we went, so, but yeah, um, this is episode number two of it. As you see, our money is up to 19,000. So we'll jump in the job market, quick job. All right, what do we got today? What can we haul today? Uh, we can do a reservoir tank. We'd be driving another Volvo. Ooh, we'd be driving a Volvo. I don't think we've driven one of these before. All right, we can take a reservoir tank from Berlin to Hanover. So yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. Alright. That's that side of that view. There's a bobcat over there. Alright, we'll pan out here. Oh, that's what it looks like. Okay. So it's like a outside tank for like something for uh um I don't know. Looks like for like a farming industry, a construction industry. Oop, there we go, get some lights on. Ooh, wow. This is the first time I've driven a Volvo in this game, and wow, is it nice. Thing's got some power. Alright, we'll wait for that guy. <laughs> he kind of uh, pulled out for or got there to the intersection before us, so. Eh, not too bad of a trip. We got. 224 kilometers and so yeah looks like we got enough fuel there we go there's the green light there's a make makeshift uh looks like that uh that was an audi on the one side of us there that turned off the other way i've only been to berlin in my main career once and I've discovered it once now and it's pretty cool um, there's a nice garage that I want to buy that's in there so isn't too bad I went after uh, the last video I came in I went and uh, adjusted the sensitivity and everything on the, the main game here and uh, adjusted the steering sensitivity and uh, reduced the, the dead zone all the way down if you have a controller and you're doing this game and you see dead zone get rid of all the dead zone immediately that way, uh, when you move your stick for your controller, it automatically moves uh, everything for you, and it works so much better for you. I'm gonna switch on the brights because these turns right here—they come up really quick on you. Power. Let's get going. All right, that was clean. Look up in the top corner mirror. Doesn't look like anybody's coming, so we're gonna move out in the middle lane. All right, take that off. There we go. So yeah, this series is uh, going along pretty good so far. I've done some pretty successful deliveries already. Slowly but surely making it up there. So still haven't decided what truck I'm going to buy when I get to two hundred thousand. I don't even know what truck. I don't even know if I want to make it to two hundred thousand. I almost want to go make it big and make it half a million and see about starting off a career with like a million dollars by taking out a, a loan for like you know, an extra 500000 and add up the 500000 that I've made in the game and put it together and everything, so. Got to get over there because we're turning right here. Yes, I know I am speeding, but, you know, everybody says if you go really, really fast in this game, you should uh, just go play Need for Speed or something. Well, you know, truckers, they do uh, over the speed limit a lot of times, especially here in the States. <laughs> Especially where I'm from. I'm from uh, Minnesota area, and yeah, they're they're pretty crazy when they come to it. So I know some truckers that will say uh, speed limits. You know, they they're there for the reason for some of them to go, and then some of that. I don't know what it is, but I think always in the road to 200,000 series so far. This is only the second episode, though. It always seems like we're always driving at nighttime. I don't know why that is. It's always nighttime, and then we always end up in the middle part of the morning. That's okay. It's kind of a nice series. 
No, if you guys have been uh, enjoying the content, well, I'm going to try to keep posting it as much as I can. I'll keep at least up to, uh, at least up to two videos a day for as much as I can uh, output. I mean, being as much time as I get during the night, because I'll probably, uh, I'll film, uh, film and record like I am right now uh, during the day, and then if I get time during the day, I'll do it during the day, but then at night time, I'll probably sit for the night and then do it at night time with the editing and cutting stuff out and making sure everything looks right. I just hope uh, in the quality uh, quality of the content when it comes out, I hope it's okay and, and it's at least at 620 or at least uh, 360 and higher resolution for you guys. I don't want to give you guys some uh, pretty crappy uh, content, so... But I can only go so far with uh, what I got for recording right now, um, since I'm still sitting on some uh, older hardware on my computer. But that'll be in the near future when I upgrade my computer too. I'm planning on doing some upgrades. I got a friend of mine that can uh, help me out for cheap, and uh, he's usually pretty good at it. He's the one that helped me build my uh, Frankenstein. My Frankenstein is pretty much a whole bunch of mismatch parts put together and it was made and designed pretty much to play Battlefield 3 on Ultra and Battlefield 4 also on Ultra as well. So it's it's pretty cool. It works. Gets the job done. I've played over 500 some hours of uh, Battlefield 4 and I, I don't know, I'm kind of sick of the game right now so I kind of just decided to jump into commentaries on this game and other racing games since I'm more of a, right now I'm more of a racing game fanatic than I am anything so it's really fun when it comes with uh, the racing aspect. I've been playing racing games ever since Forza Motorsport 2 was the main title that I started up on. But then before that, of course, was a Flat Out series, which I'm going to re-download that pretty soon on my computer here and hopefully maybe give you guys a little sneak peek teaser video of uh, the Flat Out. Because what I've been noticing is that I don't notice a lot of old school gameplay out there anymore of older style games. So yeah, I think I'm going to upload those and maybe see about, you know, going with uh, the older style games and stuff like that. Because I also put down, uh, I also installed uh, Euro Truck Simulator, the first one, and I'm going to see how that is. I tried that out early this morning. It was okay. The steering sensitivity is one thing you got to get used to. It's not as linear as this game. It's not as easy. It's more fast. The steering is too fast in my opinion. I mean, you can't do precise movements like I'm doing right now on these turns to, you know, help your lines of the driving. But you know, that's that's just how it is. So, but no, man, let's take a let's take a quick gander at this uh, Volvo on the inside. It's got a navigation screen already included. It's got telephone indicators on the dash and on the steering wheel. Stuff to with your music. Man, this thing is just up to date. It's got the tachometer on the bottom. It's got a Fahrenheit gauge, temperature, how much fuel, how many gallons of fuel you got there, how many, what your distance is, how far you can go. God, this thing's got everything. Wow, this this over here. Holy cow, this is nice. Ooh, what's that up there? Oh, that's AC and all that other stuff up there. That's cool. Nice. Oh, uh, yeah. Other than that, it's a really nice truck. I don't know. This Volvo's kind of got me curious. I think I might buy one of these when I get my uh, career first started in this one. After I actually finally buy my first truck and start off uh, the next part of this segment of uh, the Euro Truck gameplay here. Alright, it looks like up here we're going to be turning over because I see the navigation tab. Are we going to the quarry? I'm going to check that in the... Oh yeah, we're going over the Hanover quarry. Cool. I've been here a couple times in my main career. It's pretty fun. Parking's easy in this game. I also adjusted too. I remember, uh, I remember going in last time too and adjusting the the trailer brake or not the trailer brake, but the the air brake or the air brake engine brake, I should say, the Jake brake as they call it. And uh, yeah, it worked out pretty good. Nobody coming that way or that way, so we're just gonna keep going. Okay. But no, this truck's really nice. I'm actually kind of. Uh, Maybe tempted to get myself a Volvo on the first uh, when I first finally. Ooh, it's got a nice horn too. I'm gonna have to keep Volvo in mind. It's got a lot of power. It's smooth power band too when it gets going through hills. I mean, this it's ta tackling this hill like no problem. 
Steering and handling seems to be pretty good. And we got some uh, Skodas, or otherwise known as car carrier, car trailer. All right, that main road will take you to Hanover. And I adjusted my sensitivity in the last, uh, after the last video got done with, and I was wondering, like, wow, this is way turned down too much. Holy shit. So, <laughs> all right, we're coming up on the quarry here. About to cash in on another uh, $3,000. Making my way one more step closer to the, to the next series here. Alright, coming down this quarry, you gotta be really, really, really careful and make sure you stay on the brakes and just slowly let into the gas and kind of just coast and then on off brake, I should say. So kind of tap the brakes and turn very gently with it. Because I've seen, uh, I've heard of uh, people online and everything that have actually came in the core here with a two bit ahead of steam because they've been late on deliveries <laughs> and they've totally like messed the the entrance up and they've totally smashed into that first gate. I've watched some uh, pretty funny videos, but yeah, it's pretty cool. No, it's a pretty cool quarry. It's very detailed, very uh, graphic orientated down here. It's pretty cool. All right, there comes the, the trailer park part. Looks like we don't have anything in our way this time, like we did uh, the one episode I had on my main career. Going to bring it wide here. Come back around. Ooh, can we do this on one shot? Oh my gosh, no way. No way. Oh, we did it in one shot, ladies and gentlemen. Hit the T, get, uh, get the bank on delivery. We made $3,686, ladies and gentlemen, 278 experience, and we leveled up. All right, what are we going to use our skill point for? Are we going to do it on long distance? Are we going to do it on ADR? Uh, I think this one I'm actually going to do on fragile cargo. Yeah, I think we're going to upgrade... Yeah, because you get 5% reward for delivering fragile cargo. 22 experience bonus for delivering a fragile cargo. You know what? We're going to do it. Fragile cargo. We're going to keep upgrading the... the AD, next next time I upgrade, I think I'm going to do another uh, for one on ADR. And then this one, fragile. But yeah, we're going to do fragile. Get a little bit of a bonus. All right, and we are up to 22,709. So yeah, uh, that's another video of uh, the road to 200,000... Euros and Euro Truck Simulator 2. I was your host, SFC Ragnus. You guys have a nice day. Stay tuned.